Ah! It felt like something was around my, like someone's hands were around my neck. Joshua Higgins and Heather Bruff believe that their home in Highland, Michigan is haunted by a bad ghost. They hear footsteps and a scary male voice that screams and laughs at night, which makes them very scared. They live in the house with their 15-month-old daughter, and the spooky things happening to them do not stop. Heather Bruff had a scary experience when she woke up one morning feeling like something was squeezing her neck. I mean, there was even a morning that I woke up and it felt like something was around my, like someone's hands were around my neck. Meanwhile, one night, Heather saw something that petrified her on her daughter's nanny cam. She rushed upstairs. I freaked out. I stopped what I was doing and I ran upstairs and I grabbed my daughter. And discovered with horror that her daughter had multiple unexplained scratches on her face. Heather says this so-called ghost scratched her daughter Lily and attacked her too. It scares us that it could do something else. Heather believes that the alleged ghost scratched her daughter Lily and even attacked her as well. The couple intends to leave the haunted house as soon as they can afford it. But for now, they sleep in the same room as baby Lily every night. Prepare to be petrified by this bone-chilling incident. The next video is not just any ordinary haunted house, but a haunted cemetery crypt that will send shivers down your spine. The video's creator recounts a spooky encounter while walking through the dimly lit hallway of a mausoleum in a Mexican cemetery. Y bueno, pues. Es un panteón relativamente nuevo, tiene alrededor de 30 años funcionando. Sí se ve algo tenebroso, pero pues supongo que así son todos los pan... ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué es eso? Es un niño. ¡Niño! ¡Niño! ¿Quién eres? ¡Niño! ¿Qué diablos hace aquí un niño? ¿Quién eres, niño? Niño. Oh, Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Ay, güey. Me decían, no hay nadie. ¿Qué diablos fue eso? No mames, yo lo vi. Nadie me lo contó, yo lo vi. ¿Qué onda? No mames. ¿Qué onda? ¿Quién está? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Qué tranza? As he approaches the tombs, he comes face to face with a mysterious apparition. But that's not all. Upon closer inspection, the footage reveals something even more terrifying. The face of a young boy seemingly trapped inside a sealed crypt with no entrance or exit. Could this be the work of a malevolent spirit, caught on camera in its eternal resting place, or is it a cleverly edited video? The next spine-chilling incident began when the homeowner noticed that a particular door in his house would mysteriously remain open every morning, despite him securely closing it the night before. One day, while strolling through his home, he was petrified to come face to face with an ominous figure glaring back at him through the door's glass. The uploader installed a camera and caught this terrifying footage.
In this disturbing video, a screaming child can be heard, but according to the video uploader, no sound was heard during the recording. When the video was played back, the sobs were evident. Despite comments suggesting that the video could be staged by someone slipping back into another room through the entryway's doors, the face vanishes too quickly for anyone to hide. Do you think that this is just a ghost playing peekaboo or something else? The Porta Mont Haunting is a real-life spooky story that not many people know about. Unlike the famous Enfield Haunting that was made into a scary movie. They were even more baffled when two of their beat constables reported seeing an armchair levitate across the Hodgson's living room. It um, came off the floor, or nearly a half inch, I should say, and I saw it slide off to the right, about three and a half to four feet before it came to rest. The Enfield Haunted House had many people who saw strange things happening there, even the police. People even saw the chair moving on its own. But the Porta Mott haunting happened in a small house in Chile where residents heard a scary woman's voice at night, and soon they saw weird pictures of a woman in their videos and pictures. They called a priest to help bless the house, and there is even a video of what happened when the priest visited. The hair-raising events unfolding at the haunted house didn't conclude there. One evening. The authorities received a distress call from the residents. The family recounted that an evil spirit was manipulating objects and igniting small fires. To their amazement, when the police arrived, they discovered that the family was not lying. Los propietarios en este caso indicaron que había efectos paranormales en el domicilio. Claro, nosotros al ingresar al domicilio pudimos percatarnos que de forma sorpresiva caían especies del entretejo. Igualmente cuando iba saliendo yo, yo mismo de la puerta, eh, un cuchillo color negro de aproximadamente unos 15 centímetros eh, pasó rozándome la espalda y gracias a Dios tenía salido salir antibala, ¿no? por lo que no se eh, produjo alguna lesión o algo. Recientemente igualmente se pudo apreciar humo que salió de una parte del interior del domicilio. Eh, no había nadie en el interior. Personal de bomberos que no se ha hecho presente en el lugar. Personal de bomberos no ha concurrido al lugar. Tenemos que controlar la situación nosotros. Hay baldes con agua, igualmente manguera, pero tenemos todo controlado aquí. Además, este, haciendo presencia para que para evitar un mal mayor. Eh, los propietarios también, han, obviamente, lo que logramos apreciar, han sacado sus enseres, ¿no es cierto?, para evitar algún tipo de propagación, como bien menciona, pues el fuego, ¿no es cierto?, se ha estado produciendo. Bueno, como usted pudo apreciar, hay algunos colchones que están quemados, como asimismo especies quebradas en su totalidad, como lámparas que cayeron desde el techo. One officer even captured a video of an object soaring through the air within the house. Procedimiento de rigor, ¿no es cierto?, para tomar obviamente lo que son fotografías, evidencia, ¿no es cierto?, eh, de esta casa, fotografías, evidencia, ¿no es cierto? Eh, de esta casa. De esta casa. Although the family was forced to evacuate for one night, they still reside there. Do you speculate that the Porta Mont haunted house is a fabricated account by the family, clergy, and law enforcement, 
Or is it conclusive evidence that phantoms and haunted houses are genuine? The decision is yours to make. As you have reached this point in the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell icon. By doing so, you will stay informed about our latest upcoming videos. Be warned, watching this video may exacerbate your nightmares for years to come. Death God 2022 a YouTube user, claims that he has always been skeptical about the paranormal. His claim was challenged when his family moved into their new house and they all began to experience paranormal activity there. He was watching his daughters on their baby monitor one night when he saw something that made his blood cold. On the screen, he saw a misty figure resembling a child peering through the baby gate at his daughters as they played. Despite his attempts to investigate, he found nothing in the room. Was it a hair-raising event captured on camera or simply a deceptive illusion? Share your thoughts in the comments section. As you lay your head down to rest tonight after watching this video, be mindful of the chilling possibility. Remember, you are never truly alone.